Hi everybody and welcome to another Gaffer and Gear. Today we're going to talk about a technique that has been largely forgotten about in Melbourne. It's called choking a light. So choking a light enables you to variably adjust the light level coming out of the light and it also enables you to variably adjust your shadows, so whether they're harder or softer. All right, so I'll just run you through choking a light. So what I'm gonna do in a moment is I'm gonna get some diffusion, and you want some uh, dense diffusion, so you don't want something like an opal, it has to be a fairly milky diffusion. And I'm gonna put that diffusion over the front, and then we'll use the smaller barn doors and choke those in. Okay, so basically, when we put the smaller barn doors in, we're reducing the amount of light that hits the diffusion on the front. So if we want to increase the amount of light, we open up the barn doors. And if we want to decrease the amount of light, we close the barn doors up. All right, so this is um, ready to be choked up, so let's have a look. All right, so I remove the small barn doors in. Move the small barn doors out. So as you can see, variably adjustable. And if I need to adjust it even further, I can use the bigger doors. All right, so in case you haven't figured out yet, we're talking about reducing the light level out of a light that doesn't dim, okay? If you've got an LED with a dimmer on the back, you just twist the knob, okay? But you might have a light that doesn't dim. So it could be um, you know, a HMI, for example. Now, this light will dim if I have an inline dimmer, but you might not have an inline dimmer, for example. So we used to do this a lot back in the day when I started out, because um, even these tungsten lights, uh, which could dim with a dimmer, they change color when you dim them. So sometimes that was an issue. So we used to get around it by using ND wires, or if you needed to, to adjust the light level choking. Now, one of the problems we used to commonly get with um, choking a light was I get an assistant who would take the choking too far. So uh, basically, you want to choke it, right? You don't want to suffocate it. You don't want to cover the beam over. So never cover the center of the beam with your barn doors. And the next thing I'd suggest is once you've found the amount you want to choke it by, then I'd suggest rotating the barn doors. So have your bigger barn doors on the sides and your smaller barn doors top and bottom. That will enable airflow to get through so you're not choking heat and damaging your gel or prematurely um, shortening the life of your globe or worst case scenario, if you've got it really choked up, cracking your lens. So you've got to have a little bit of common sense. Don't trap too much heat in there. You want to choke it. You don't want to suffocate it. Now you can also choke your light if you're bouncing it. So for example, uh, if I have this light bouncing off the roof, supplying an ambient light level, if I reduce the barn doors in, it'll be choking it down. Okay, so let's have a look. All right, so let's get back to talking about choking using a diffuser. What if you've got a really big light, something like a 4K HMI or bigger, and if you stick the diffusion on like this, it's just gonna melt? Well, quite simply, put the diffuser further away. All right, so you can have the diffuser on a blade frame. You could have it uh, even on a bigger scale. You could have the diffuser on a, on a, you could have a 12 by 12 and use floppies to choke the light, okay? So you don't have to literally think small scale the same principle applies on a big scale. Okay, now let's talk about uh, using choking the light to adjust your shadows. All right, so against the back wall here, I have a light stand. And uh, when I choke the light, it reduces the size of the light source and makes the shadows harder. Okay, to finish off the video, we're gonna have a look at linear choking. So I've choked the light down into a linear slit. Now, the advantage of, uh, of linear slits is when you rotate the barn doors, you can change the way in which the light wraps around linear objects. So for example, so I've got my arm here, um, the slat or the, the, sl the slit here is largely covered by my arm. But if I rotate, it wraps around, okay? So if you're not following, um, basically, we're gonna do it with a light stand on the back wall and have a look. So anyway, this will be the last thing I show. See you on the next episode of Gaffer and Gear.